So what we're going to do on this one is identify x as u because when I differentiate it, it becomes simpler. So if x is u, then right, my du is just dx. The remaining chunk is dv. And so I just guess the antiderivative of this thing. Just to explain real quick, if dv is cosine x dx, that means dv dx, in other words, the derivative of v is the cosine function, so that means v must be the sine function. In practice, though, you just look at this piece of dv and you go, what's the antiderivative of it? So it's the sine function. All right, so I have, um, just trying to organize myself here, that v is equal to sine x. I usually try to collect that stuff right under the integral. And then I'm going to plug in the integration by parts. Oops. All right, so this has been phrased now as an integral of u dv. So I just have to plug into the right-hand side, and I get u times v, so x sine x minus the integral of v du, so sine x, that's v, and then du is just dx. Then I just have to guess the antiderivative of the sine function, which is the negative of the cosine function. So I end up with x sine x plus cosine x. It's an indefinite integral, so I should have a plus c on there. Um, and then one of the cool things about integration techniques, I better not try to do that because I'm getting too much lag, um, is that you can always check your answer. So there are, just, there are certain classes of problems where you can always check your answer. So that really helps. So I have to use the product rule on that first piece, and I get derivative of the first function is just 1. So I get sine x. And then I keep the first guy left alone, derivative of the second. And then the second term, the derivative, is negative sine x. Those cancel out, and I get what I started with.